This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I make beveled text and lettering? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a PolyMesh 3D star here loaded in. And the question is asking about creating text and lettering inside of ZBrush and then applying bevels to that. So how can I go about creating some text and then converting it to 3D and applying bevels? So the process to do this is fairly simple. We first just need to make sure we have ZBrush loaded up. And then the tool palette over here, we want to make sure we have a poly mesh 3D object selected like the star here. Now after we have this, we now just need to navigate to the Z plugin tab at the top here and open this up. And then in here, we need to locate the Text 3D and Vector Shapes plugin. Now, this plugin will allow you to create 3D text from a series of characters you type in. And then you can also create 3D objects from vector shapes saved as SVG files. So for the question asking about creating text and lettering, I'm first going to hover over this new text button here, and then I'm just going to click it. This is going to pop up a dialog box. And in here, I can type the text that I want to turn into 3D lettering. So I'm going to type in hashtag ask ZBrush, and then I just want to hit enter on my keyboard. Now after this is processed, if I zoom out here, you can see that I now have 3D text created from what I typed in. So I typed in hashtag ask ZBrush, and now I have a 3D version of that. Now in addition to just creating the text like this, we can go back to that Z plugin tab, text 3D and vector shape area here, and I can now start modifying this text. So if I want to edit the text, I can use this edit text button here. And then if I want to change the amount of extrusion, resolution, spacing, or even add beveling, I can mess with these sliders down here. So I want to extrude this out a little bit more. So I'm just going to rotate to the side here and go to that Z plugin tab and maybe change my extrusion. And it helps when you're doing this to click this little icon here in the Z plugin tab. And this will take that Z plugin area and it's going to dock it to the side. So this will allow you to change these sliders a little bit easier and not have that menu opening and closing while you do it. So I can change the extrusion quickly by doing this. If I want to say switch to a different font, I can do that as well. I can come over here and click this option here, which will allow me to select from a gigantic list of fonts here. So let's say I want to change my font to maybe something like Courier New. And you can see that text has now been updated. I can change the resolution of the shapes that are being created. So this will just determine how many polygons are being applied to the sides of this text. So if I increase the resolution here, you'll see that my lettering is gonna get a lot smoother. Now we also can change the spacing of this. So if I want the letters to be squished together, I can use this or I can make them spaced far apart. And then finally, in relation to the question, we have this bevel option here. Now, if you change this slider, it's going to start beveling the edges of each letter. So I can make this as beveled as I want through here. And once you change this bevel slider here, this bevel resolution slider will become available. And this will allow you to now create curvature on the edges of that bevel. So if I increase this, it's going to add multiple rows of polygons along the beveled edge. And then I can change the curvature of that edge and maybe round this out. So now I have this round version of this Ask ZBrush text, or I can go even negative and create something like a stamp. So now I have that Ask ZBrush happening and it's giving me this stamp type look. So that is the process of which you can go through and create lettering and then apply beveling to it. So we just came over here and selected a tool that was a poly mesh 3D object. We then went to the Z plugin tab at the top here and located the text 3D and vector shapes plugin. We clicked the new text option here, which gave us a little dialog where you can type in our text. We can then change our font. And then down here, we can adjust the beveling and shape of the 3D object that is created. So we can change the extrusion amount, change the resolution, the spacing. And then if we activate the bevel slider here, the bevel resolution option will open up and then we can adjust our curvature as needed. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.